Welcome back to NASCAR Heat 5, folks. Today we have got our first ever Cup Series race well belonging to a team. I did go back. I know the car was red, silver, and black. I ended up going back, taking a look at what the RS race car looked like, and, well, I replicated it because I like it, and I like orange. So, anyway, we went with the pretty standard RS that uh, is out there. I am probably going to change the number font. Not that anybody cares, but I'm probably going to change that. I don't know how well I like that fitting with this car, but I wanted to get this race in because I need to do it before work and I'm getting close to that time. So anyway, we're going to get out here and we're going to skip practice. We're going to skip qualifying, not because I'm doing it on purpose. Same reason we did in the Xfinity series. We're just not going to get there. It's a uh, plate track and for some reason we can't qualify or anything well there so we'll just work our way from the back to the front goal of 10th place big money hoping we get a piece of it i know we get a hundred and something thousand per race but i'm hoping we also get a cut of the winnings or the cut of yeah the winnings yes that's the that's the word even if you don't win you still make winning money here we go 100 laps at daytona brad keselowski he's having a stellar weekend well daniel suarez failed optical scanning multiple times he goes to the back Michael McDowell, though, he's your pole winner. Here we go. Starting on the inside. Miss shifting right off the bat. Trying to just squeeze our way in here. Kevin Harvick back here with us. We do have stages set up. 32 stages in the first. Or 30, 32 stages. 32 laps in the first stage. I was running a setup, I did a little bit of practice earlier when I was messing around with the paint scheme, and uh, it was really unstable, super unstable, and I'm hoping that just running the default fixes that, but I also hope that we don't lose the draft, because it was actually a pretty fast setup, so I'm not liking this. We were much faster than this with that other setup. I should have adjusted the gear ratio, but kept everything else default. We'll see what happens. I mean, we're speeding up. So yeah, we're not. We were doing like 209 with that other setup. I'm not giving up hope yet. When we catch this draft, we catch up, we start to pass cars. We'll be all right. It's just going to be a lot more challenging. But here we go. Yeah, we're getting that pull now. There we go. 209. Perfect. 210. All right. Oh, we got our teammate back here with us. Martin Truex Jr. We've run with his brother in the Xfinity series. So here we go. I'm hoping that we'll be able to make some good moves early on. Get some cars behind us. You know, I like to do that because that just helps with the draft overall. I'll say this, the car feels worlds more stable than it did with that other setup, so despite us running a little bit slower, we're at least not flying all over the track. I mean, like, I don't know. The car would feel like it was getting hit. It was so unstable. All of a sudden, it would just not turn at all midway through the corner, like we were getting pushed on our right rear, trying to turn us up into the wall no matter how hard I turned the car. And then, of course, you'd overcorrect and end up messing up, so. A lot of race to go. 29 left in stage one. A lot of time for us to get up through the pack. And, of course, plate tracks, they're cool because anyone has an opportunity to win at them. They also suck because anyone has an opportunity to win at them, so everyone is vying for position. And we are sitting here doing whatever we can to just get up into a spot where we're not potentially going to fall back going through the turn. So we do have a fully upgraded. Well, we have a five-star car, whatever that means. I don't know if that means it's a hundreds across the board or if, you know, we're close to that or what, but we're with a five-star team. So we have nothing to blame for not possessing not placing well but ourselves we are running on legend difficulty of course as i said we would uh what we were running last season 
in the Cup Series for the hot seat races. I was unaware that we could make uh, enemies. We don't have any rivals, but we do have people that are annoyed with us. I think one or two of them are actually mad at us, so we do need to keep that in mind as the season goes on to try to build those relationships back up before we have our own charter next year. Because despite the fact that we'll have all new drivers next year, it doesn't reset anything. We're just basically doing a skin over the original drivers and I can adjust and I will be adjusting their talent levels to being very high because they're all going to be champion drivers. So. Okay, so the high line does not work for us. Perfect. Perfect. Matt Kenseth in front of us. He is actually one of the people who are slightly annoyed with us. So we have to keep that in mind. See if I can sneak here in front of William Byron again and get behind Suarez. I mean, we moved up seven spots. About to be eight when we get yeah, right there. So we're moving along. I guess we started in 39th. So that was our seventh spot. But we technically didn't qualify. So we were at the back of the pack. See if I can grab the draft here and... But Suarez, three wide with us going into one. That was... Strangely, we were we we're so stable that it didn't hurt us at all to do that. Never mind. <laughs> I'm telling you, I... This car was not stable with the setup in it. At least with the setup I put. I could have looked farther, but... I think that setup was more set up for speed, not stability. And... This game isn't exactly a awesome steering wheel friendly game. Yes, it is. Steer, you know, you can use your wheel, but let's just say any there are many other many other games that I feel more comfortable on the steering wheel with. But it's doing well with this setup, which is what matters to me. As we continue our march up towards the front, I don't know if I want to be where I am. So I'm going to pull back in behind Chris Busher. By my time, not much else to do. I don't want to go up on the outside and lose a bunch of spots because we're not able to move that line either. We'll just hang out here with Chris Busher right on his bumper and see what happens. Oh, we had to get out of it a little bit, and that definitely got us loose as we were in the corner. I probably shouldn't have lifted all the way off. That was dumb. Hopefully we can get back in the draft pretty quick and start to... I would like to get to Priest's Fender before the turn, and we're going to lose a spot, and we do. We're going high, try to get up with, uh... Redick, maybe. Well, I'm using Redick right now, but... Now we've done it. Now we're in the middle. Or we'll be the middle when... Bush and whoever's in front of Bush drop back here. Nope, never mind. We're in the middle right now. So we got on the inside of Reddick a little bit and we were able to kind of scooch our way in there. Here comes Custer though. Let's see if we can get enough of a run to. Yes. Yes. Okay. We're we're Back behind Chris Busher, which isn't the worst place to be. 11 spots out of where we need to be, but shoot, we're so early in this race. You can't even consider that at this very moment. Jump up to the middle. Work on the inside. Of, well, shoot. And that's not where we want to be. What is going on, Quinn? That was not what we wanted to deal with at all right there, but okay. Getting a nice run through the corner this time. See if we can take advantage of that and get on the inside of Busher. Yes, we can. And we've got Kyle Bush who's been running the higher middle and high line this whole race. We have an opportunity to 
get into a draft again. Looks like it's Ryan Newman in front of us. Also, Denny Hamlin, who is our teammate. So not that that matters. We don't have the ally drafting or whatever turned on. So. Kyle Busch showing his power as he just drives around us. No draft. That's all right. We'll work with him to get back up to this group. We've got 20 more laps. Just 10 laps into the race. 20 laps left in the stage. I think it'll be 30, 30, and 40 for your stage breaks. So if there's not a caution, we'll pit. Actually, I don't know. No, we, we would have to pit each stage before the stage is over, so never mind. This is not a run to the end of the stage and then pit situation. Cursor Bell running up here. Ooh, we've got three wide. Going through the trioval as Alex Bowman drops back. If we were to pit now, yeah, we're going to pit now because that means we can make it to the end of the stage. I know we drop all the way back, but why not? Joey Logano appears to be the car that brought out the caution. See, pit drops back. Again, such a long race, it doesn't really matter where we are at this very moment. I was just about to say, in fact, we're halfway through the stage, and because these races are so long in the Cup Series, we will be doing a speed-up right now, and we'll be back on the mic at the end of stage number one. Of course, you know we just speed it up, so enjoy watching and the music and all of that happy happiness. So we didn't pit when everybody else pit that last time. No reason for us to. So we're in the lead for now. Not that it's going to matter because we'll be pitting at the end of the stage. And with that, we're going back to the speed up. Well, there is absolutely no organization with these cars. There's no way to set it up. That was whatever. I'm surprised we ended up in third place, but we did what we had to do and it worked out for us to get some stage points. So that was nice. We'll pit and re-rack them up and start it all over. Pit crew did its job. We're starting on the outside of the front row. We're going green. Ready? 
Got Justin Haley on our inside. Should be able to out-accelerate him. Better car. But that's about it. As soon as the draft takes hold, we're going to lose everything. So, And the thing is, best thing I can do is stay on the inside. Simply because apparently nobody will push me because I don't have that ally draft stuff on. So none of it is real. I'm just kind of along for the ride, and as soon as everyone gets up to speed, we'll be back and forth and all over the place with each other, so... It's gonna be something. We're just gonna have to kind of keep our eyes focused forward and pay attention when we get past to what we can do to get back in front of these guys, and... I mean, we're running all right right now, but I know that some of these cars from our own experience in the pack can run 210 miles an hour down the backstretch, and... With us leading the race, we're not even hitting, we're barely hitting 200 miles an hour going into turn one, so we'll just do the best that we can here and hope to stay out in front for as long as possible. Obviously, there was opportunity for me to talk during that, but we're going to have to do it this way just to keep the races within reason. I have to run them regardless, but I'm not putting out a two-hour video and literally with these some of these races, that's exactly how it was going to or will go. So we're going to be cutting about a half of the race, not cutting it, but speeding it up. And as you can see, we get no help behind us. And so everybody just passes us on the outside. Nothing I can do about that. This is what I can do right here, which is as soon as Redick went on the inside line, I link up with him and Brett and Gong, one of the drivers who aren't pleased with us and of course we want to make the best relationships we can this season so that we don't go into next season with our own team battling cars not only in the racing but also battling cars being wrecked by them we've got two rivals in the Xfinity series and it's dumb that after a full season cooler heads didn't prevail and set at least to neutral by the end of the year or give you an opportunity to mend relationships at the end of this or something because now we're just dealing with this which is absolutely no relationship changes at the end of a season nothing improving at all and now we have two rivals to deal with all year long and from what we experience in the truck series there's really nothing you can do about it so we don't want to get any rivals in the cup series or if we do one or two is fine i guess but the goal is obviously no rivals especially getting front running rivals would suck because anytime i'm up front i'm gonna have to worry more about the cars around me uh running into me or trying to wreck their race my race everyone's race just to get their revenge and and they get revenge every single race i guess that's the other problem i have they always get revenge it's not like Oh, they got revenge. They've calmed down now. Payback is over. No, no. They get revenge, and then you get to the next race, and they get revenge again, and then you get to the next race, and they'll get revenge again. And everybody loves that. Apparently, people decided Justin Haley was not the person to be by, and as soon as they got around him, they are just flying past me like I'm stopped. <laughs> Unbelievable. I mean, we'll drive back up, but it's not annoying at all. I love a game where the... Uh, Plate racing is actually good. I mean, I know there's... There's eye racing. Well, those are real people. I'm talking about the AI plate racing. This is... Just junk. They'll pass us. We'll work our way around stuff. But there was no... In, like, no inside line form that was... Able to battle back and forth, which is what you normally see. You don't see seven cars without me checking up. You don't see seven cars jump to the outside and just go flying past me. That's... It's not normal. But we're in that top 10 we need to be in. It was all by us making a special move. Of course, we do have one pit stop Well, we are on this uh, stage. 17 left in the tank, 6 into the stage. So we've got... We've got about four, 4 laps would put us in the window to get to the end of the stage. Otherwise... So if a caution were to come out after four laps from now, we could definitely pit. Otherwise, we're looking at... Um... Pitting... 
with 10 to go in the stage roughly stay low, stay low. which is fine I mean we've got a good team we've got a good pit crew and all of that so we're okay with that but it's not uh not ideal ideal is caution coming out us pitting again and out of order and then running to the end of the stage like we did last time just keeping us up front I just want to stay up front I like to be up front Joey Logano same pit strategy we were on of course as soon as he gets to this turn if we're not behind him he's gonna jump right in there and we'll lose everything and have to get back behind Almarola. Maybe I'll just stay with Almarola and just push him in front of Logano if I get enough of a run. There we go. He's at Logano's fender. This is what you get for not staying up top with me when I needed you to. Of course, now <laughs> Eric will do it. Thank you. Thank you for driving up top there. He'll drive up top as soon as we get through the tri oval as well. If I don't clear Logano, oh, we did. We got him. All right. Well, we're going to hang out in second place, it looks like, hopefully for a while. We'll get to see if we can get a run with this much space down the backstretch, if we can get a run and pass him. This is a good time to determine whether we can do that. There's nobody really helping us behind us. I know Haley's there, but he's pretty far back. So we're not getting, we're getting up to 206. When we're like in the middle of the pack, it's 2 9, 2 10. So it's all right, I guess, where we are right now. But I think at this point, if we had three to go we, and we were in this spot, three to go in the whole race, we would have to really push to try to get to his bumper. And then by the last lap, we'd be on his bumper and hopefully we'd end up getting an opportunity to pass him. Looks like a lot of cars are staying on the inside now. We, as I say it, everyone kind of jumped out of line except for Haley. Yeah, I'm mere driving. Not because I'm worried about him passing me. I'm just wondering what's going on back there. I can't really do much with Almarola right now. I'm just kind of hanging out here. Pedal foot all the way down to the floor. I had to itch my nose. That's why we drove up the track. Race with two hands, folks. Race with two hands on the wheel. See, that's amazing. Right now, Almarola should be dropping just way back. Way back. He got out so far, there's no way that he would be maintaining out there. We're going to catch him, but I feel like it should have happened earlier. That's all. Maybe I'm wrong. I could be wrong. I'm okay being wrong. It happens. I just wish that the drafting was a little different here I guess I mean you can turn it up make it more more I don't want to do that it seems like the more is way more and the less is way less and the medium is just shit so you just kind of deal with the shit so that you're not seemingly cheating or giving yourself a humongous disadvantage but yeah he's still so far out in front of us and it's been multiple laps so and we've got cars behind us enough that i like justin haley's a tenth behind us he should be giving us a push there's cars behind him this all should be working out for us right now at all we're also technically in Almarola's draft so all of this should be working together to give us a better pull on Almarola, but it's just not happening just not happening folks makes me sad I didn't actually have a chance to record my episodes this past weekend like I normally do. We had events going on as it's going to happen. So to try to make sure I'm always providing content, I woke up at 4.30 this morning. Did the... Realized I don't have templates for the Cup Series, so I had to do a template for the Toyota and then do the paint scheme. 
and then transfer that over to the paint kit so I can adjust the colors in game. And of course, it always takes longer than you expect it to. Not like I mind. I love doing graphic work and stuff like that, but right now it's a little bit of crunch time. I'm like, yeah, I got to get this race in. And as it stands right now, I've got about 45 minutes to finish this race. I mean, if I don't, then I don't, but I'll finish recording it later. But if I can record this now, the video comes out around noon. If I can't, the video comes out around 5. So that's what happens, guys. Sometimes my videos come out later in the day. It's just life gets in the way. You all understand that. I know that. And you just kind of... I want to run the races, so I find any opportunity to be able to do that. Everything is kind of getting back in order now, though. And it is summer, so... Like... Things are... Well, no, Haley. How are you doing that? You have nobody in the draft. I lost everything. I don't even understand. I don't even understand. What just... I didn't come off the gas. I didn't do anything. Nobody behind Haley at the time. He was about to go on our inside and pass us. And then... I go down in front of him to grab his draft. And all, everyone on the outside just shows back up and passes us. That was annoying. Nine in the tank. Eight in the tank. Where is my... Okay. Thirteen left. We're going to go ahead and speed things up here in stage number two. And we'll be back on the mic with you. Well, hopefully it'll just be when we're pitting or at the end of the stage. Oh, yeah, but even so, when we pit, we're still going to have to speed it back up because... That's just how it's going to go. going to be pitting this next time around unless of course a caution were to come out oh what did i wow all right so we're gonna let it we're gonna do the pit we're gonna speed it up for the rest of the stage and we'll be back with you at the end of the stage some people did not pit Haley, de benedetto newman they're looking to get to the end i don't know how they're gonna do that I was about to make the move i would have absolutely gotten into second place and held on to second instead we get third place that sucks um yeah it doesn't make sense to pit so we're just gonna stay out this time with everybody we've got enough that we can make it our whole run and then pit and right, be within the window Going green. Ready? And here we are back at it but this time well, we'll see what happens, actually. I'm thinking about speeding up the first half of this, especially since where we are. Thinking about speeding up the first half of this and then coming to it for the last 20 laps of the race. Nowhere to go. Haley's going to go up in front of everybody. We got our teammate behind us, so we technically have the draft with him. But look at look at this. Like we're stopped just annoying but it's fine we're speeding it up now we'll be back when we pit for the final time it's a big speed up i know but it's better to do it like this so that we can actually have the last 20 laps of the race to really grind it out 
I'm pretty sure that everyone's good with the speed ups versus me just cutting it. So let, I guess let me know if you hate me cutting the or speeding it up and you'd rather me cut the laps. If more people would rather me just cut it out so the videos are much shorter, let me know. Otherwise, I'm going to keep doing the way I do it, which is especially in the Cup Series, just like we did when we started with the Truck Series. We sped up half of each stage. So that's what we're going to do right now. We'll speed it up right now. We'll be back on the mic with you at the uh, right around the time we're pitting for the final time. I don't know why we lost 11 spots there. I think a lot of people maybe didn't pit. I don't know. 11 spot lost. We barely touched. That certainly could have been what brought out the caution either. We barely had contact. Far inside. We'll see. I don't know. We'll work our way back up. I guess that makes it fun for the last 20 something laps. As we were running in second place just fine. We're going to just drive right up the middle. I don't too sensitive steering wheel is too sensitive it's kind of annoying there we go off the gas a little bit get behind suarez start to work our way back up or lose everybody perfect that's what we love to do just look at that huge run on the middle and the outside anybody's race that's how it always is Newman going to pull down in front of us. Outside. We're not going to keep that going as he goes back up in the middle. The one time that that actually is an, an advantage to us is the three in front where, or the cars in front were three wide. So when he went up to the middle, we still had full draft. Whoa, dude. Chastain driving. Maybe got a little close to Logano or something, but we... Definitely had some little bumpy bump there, and that's going to drop us back a couple spots. Catch the draft again and work our way back up. We need a top 10 at least, but of course, I'd love a lot more than that. Psych! <laughs> Went high, jumped down low right up on Logano. We're in 10th place now, but we've got, we got some work to do to keep it. We need to get around Logano. He's... Staying on the inside. I was going to go up to the outside, then I saw that chest ain't still there. The I was going to do it. I did not. Alex Bowman here. Careful. Chad there. Fincham. Uh, Making a run. Christopher Bell. Matt DiBenedetto. Justin Haley's been up in the front area all race long. Careful. Chase there. Elliott. That's a fairly new appearance. His buddy Blaney up there as well. I got freaking nothing here. Suarez is up there. Give me more speed. I want to come up and play. Careful. Still there. 
Legato bouncing off of us going into the turn because he's three wide. He's going to back out of it, I guess. Him and Fincham battling it out. As we're going to catch a good draft here and be able to pull up. I'm going to pull up on him. Of course, the goal is always Fender before the turn, so they can't drive down. And we got it. Back up in the top five. Kurt Busch leading the race. He was just behind us for quite a while, so I can see how that worked out. He was rolling, I think, in third place most of the time. All right, Daniel Suarez on the outside. No help at all. Just, just rolling. No big deal. He's like, fine, I'm good. How about you drop back? There you go. Now it worked out. Whoa, apron, apron. We're all right. But we didn't clear Suarez, which is not good. Here comes Elliot again. We're in the draft. Okay, we're just side by side with Elliot now. Suarez tapping or getting off the gas because Haley jumped out in front of him. We're going to do it the natural way, maybe. Or we're going to work with Blaney. Of course, Blaney gets off the gas because Haley freaking does it to him, too. Come on, Haley. I hate that. I hate that. So he did it both to Suarez and Blaney, and it screwed us over big time. I was not coming out of the gas there. Forget about it. Yeah, we'll get back up here. It's just, it's dumb. You know what I'm saying? Of course you do. You're watching it. Haley can't freaking drive a line. And then we're going to push him to the lead because he's my best opportunity right now. I'm going to let him know how happy I am with him. Or not, because I somehow stall out right before we get to him. That makes all the sense in the world. Whatever. That's, that's just obnoxious. I'm all over the place right now. I'm... Woosa, calm it down. We're all right. Let's get back to it. Let's drive well. Nope. Come on. Here we go. Haley's going to drift just enough up to catch Kurt Busch's draft, which is going to pull him back up in front or try to pull in front. Haley stays high. Bush gets a run on the middle. I will push Bush to the freaking lead. I don't care. This is so unbelievably stupid. Let's go, Bush. Me and you, buddy. He's like, I don't even need you to get to the lead. Well, that's fine. I need you to get me to second place. Because it's without teammate thing on or whatever, I can't. There's no chance of getting to the lead. Nobody here to push me or help me, so... I guess going forward, we're going to have to do that. Because there's nothing I can do. And I know that. I remember with the teammates, they like follow you and they push you and it really is helpful. So I'll have to turn that on for the plate tracks only. I'm not turning it on every track. I think that negatively impacts the race. Oh, this isn't going to do well for me. He's just going to drive right back down. There it goes. I don't want to push Haley in front of you, Bush, but I don't have much of... Well, he hit, got on the brakes. Never mind. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. We have a bit, full back stretch to get in front of Haley. Stay with me. Yes! Bye. Perfect. Now. Now we can roll with Bush and whatever can I just stay with him I don't know I kind of want to block Haley we've only got 11 laps in the race we've got 14 in the tank we're good to go from that perspective Nice. Right up on Bush. Give him connect right to him. We'll just roll until somebody gets it together and decides to drive past this hall on the outside, dropping us back to eighth place. 
That actually hasn't happened that much since much earlier in the race. It did happen earlier in the race. We dropped back to like sixth or seventh in the middle of nowhere. But right now we're we're cruising with Bush. Ooh, that's awesome. You're not going you can have my draft, but you're not gonna take Bush's draft and get around me. We are pulling away from the group behind us though. Oh, oh, come on, Haley, stay high. Forget about it. Drop back with everybody else. Bush is driving away from us a bit. That's not what I really want, but okay. Chase Elliott making a run on the inside. We'll have to be aware of that as he has caught the bumper of Haley. Now I kind of want to stay down here. Because he's the one with the run. I do both of them at the same time. For this long, though? I mean... I don't know. I don't know if we're going to be able to hold everyone off for that amount of time. You know what I mean? Yes, you do. Yes, you do. You guys are so smart, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Looks like Chase Elliott, though, he's going to give us a nice little run. Justin Haley back into fifth place. He's had a very good run in this race, unfortunately for him. That run may be running out. We'll see what he does. He's kind of stuck up on the outside, and I don't think he can get down, but it looks like another lane is formed behind him, so maybe we'll start to see him move up. He's dropped out of the top five, though, as Daniel Suarez takes fifth place away from him. Chase Elliott about to be in a battle with Ryan Priest, who's got him on the outside running the middle of the track. Suarez is in sight as Ryan Priest takes third place away from Chase Elliott and pulls that car onto the inside line right behind us as we continue our work going behind Kurt Busch and not giving up second position. Talladega comes, Daytona the second race comes. We're definitely turning on the partner thing, the allied drafting because, well, we need it is the real answer we need it to be able to have a shot at winning these races we don't have the speed or the power to get around these cars and if we don't have somebody actually intentionally drafting with us we're just sol here comes justin haley i may have spoke too soon big run with that group on the outside and that's got him up into fourth place pretty much side by side with Chase Elliott, he passes Chase Elliott. He's getting closer side by side with Ryan Priest. Six to go in this race. We're doing more driving in our rear view, trying to prevent other cars from getting around us as Kurt Busch drives away with this perfect draft model in this game. Actually, I think we're getting a bit of a run now. Everyone's kind of stacking up right behind us. Look at that mini map. I mean, my car number is almost blocking the entire field. That's how close we all are together. Three cars on the DNFing. We'll have to take a look at that at the end of the race. Top five in DNFs is what we'll do for the Cup Series, just to kind of get an idea of who had a rough go at it. I'm not going to waste my time looking when I'm driving through the tri-oval and mess up everything I'm doing. I've already done that a couple times this race where I've not been paying attention for just a moment, and it's really screwed me over. We have gotten to Kurt Busch's bumper. We have nowhere to go from here, but we've gotten here. Now, if we did have that partner draft, I've called it seven different things, but you know what I'm talking about. We had that turned on and someone was linked up with us. We could get around Kurt Busch, no problem. But because we don't, even if I got around him, I'd have to do with one to go if I, if I were lucky enough to do it because I'd have to be able to pass him and then block everybody for a lap. I'm not there. I don't even think I could do it for two laps, but for one lap, maybe. But seriously, the opera, the, the potential of that happening at me dropping back to like six, eighth place because someone gets a huge run and we don't block them and we just get railroaded because we don't have any uh, draft or speed at that point. It's almost just worth staying in second place and taking the second place finish in this race. I don't really know what else to say, to be honest. 
Chase Elliott looking to make his way around Ryan Priest on the outside has some help as he is trying so hard to get up into the top three be a nice finish for that team first race of the season and here we go Elliott loses his drafting partner and if Kurt Busch goes up farther oh he stays in the middle oh me and Kurt Busch are going to be buddies all season long had he gone high on the track Chase Elliott would have caught that draft and just driven away from us but because he didn't go high on the track we were able to stay in his draft and we're still able to do it oh now he's going to go high up now we're going to lose it Elliott gets up into second place we're going to give just a little turn in turn out I should say on Daniel Suarez and with Elliott staying on the high line because we have position he's going to lose all that momentum and we're back up in second place the race within the race within the race two to go folks it all comes down to these last few laps and I don't feel like we have anything for Bush but if if we do it's not going to be until the last set of turns in the last lap can we set something up so we're in a good position for it nope but we'll try Definitely just want to stay in front of Priest. Quinn Huff out of nowhere. He's up into the top five. He really almost screwed us up earlier in this race. All right, here it goes. Final lap. As we come into turn one and two, Bush has a two tenth lead over us, and we're really not showing signs of gaining on him as the whole field just dropped back. And I don't know why that happened. That's very strange. They are dropping way back all of a sudden. Is it that they're trying to get that big run? Or is this just going to finish this way? Because I'm not getting any kind of pull on Kurt Busch at this point. And uh, it looks like that's how it's going to end up. Bush, Savoy, Priest, Blaney, and Hoff. As we finish second place at the Daytona 500. It's not a bad way to start things off racing for JGR. Top five, Kurt Busch, Tony Savoy, Ryan Priest, Ryan Blaney, and Quinn Hoff. DNFs go Cole Custer, Timmy Hill, and Kyle Busch. We walked away with $826,000 for that race. That is a huge, huge, huge deal for our Xfinity team. Wow, that is a big deal. That makes me very happy. Second place finish, 1.5 million. The team is happy with us as well. Fastest lap of the race goes to us with a 44.250. Most laps led Michael McDowell led 26 laps of the race. On the move, we started second to last and we finished second to first. Tough break goes to Kyle Busch, started ninth, finished 40th, just 20 laps into the race. David Reagan has nice things to say, and that means we're going to increase the relationship with him. I appreciate that. Wish more people had nice things to say to us, though. That puts us at $2.3 million overall. That is awesome. What we've got our next race is going to be our Xfinity Series race at las vegas motor speedway let me know in the comments if you want us to buy a new car which would leave us with about a million dollars or we could increase both our engine and our suspension to 95s overall on the current vehicles we have i don't record again i'll record the next episode tomorrow so if you watch this video as it's coming out on tuesday june 11th please do let me know in the comments if you'd rather us buy a new car or upgrade engine and suspension all right folks that is going to do it for this episode though exciting start to the cup series exciting start to the xfinity series as we sit fourth in points and i'm looking just really forward to seeing what we can do across the board here i do want to take a moment out to say thank you so very much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video and until next time and of course as always you take care